Hi folks, Paul is sharing interesting thought in Romans 1 verse 20 where he's saying that the invisible nature of God, his characteristics, I mean we serve an invisible God, God is spirit, we can't see him, but the whole nature, everything that we can see is telling us more about him, is evidence of him, we don't have to suppress it, that's why the old people like my grandfather and grandmother said nature is telling us about God. You will find God not only in scripture, but also in nature. And as a child, I used to like silkworms. My mom didn't like them, but I loved them. I like to look at them and the changes that they underwent from worm eventually to a moth. I like that metamorphosis. It fascinated me. And that's why I want to read to you today in Isaiah 41 verse 13. For I, the Lord your God, hold your right hand. I am the Lord who says to you, fear not. I will help you. God is saying to you, don't fear. He will help you. He's your help. Fear not, you worm. Jacob, you men of Israel, I will help you, says the Lord. God is just repeating it, but he's saying, you know what? you like a worm. You're exposed. You're exposed in your own fleshly appetite. The only thing that you're looking for is something to eat daily to just survive. And at the end of the day, you will build your own house, your own kukon. He said, fear not, you worm, Jacob. I will help you, says the Lord, your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. And then he say, behold, I will make you to be a new, sharp, threshing instrument. Remember, a new instrument. I taught you that to be born again is something totally new. A new, sharp, threshing instrument, which has teeth. Not like a little child, a youngster without teeth. It reminds me of this story where the little girl goes to an adult and say, please give the first bite. Please just give me a start. And he looked at her and this front incisors were gone. And it's exactly like that. He's, God is saying, no, you are not going to be like a child when he's finished with you. He's going to make you a new sharp threshing instrument which has teeth, all kinds of teeth. Incisors, canines, premolars, molars, so that you can basically face every kind of situation. Because God said you will have problems in this earth. All of us as Christians, you will experience problems. But God will equip you so that you can face these problems and overcome them. He said, you shall thresh the mountains and beat them small and you shall make the hills like calf. You shall winnow them and the wind shall carry them away and the tempest of whirlwind shall scatter them. And you shall rejoice in the Lord. You shall glory in the Holy One. Of Israel. You will give God the glory for your victory. Because God, when David look at, uh, looked at his problems, he said, if I look at these mountains, because problems in the Bible are always resembled by mountains. David are saying, if I look at all my problems, where will my help come from? And then he said, I focus on you, God. Luckily, I know my help is from you. And that's what God wants us to know. These mountains, God is going to give you an appetite for them. You will overcome them, your problems. You will come out victorious on the other side. And God said, what you will do then is to give him the glory. Because without him, you are just a worm. But with him, you've got this teeth to thresh mountains and to destroy them. And you're even going to help your friends in their situations. They will come with their problems to you. 
Because you can handle it. Your appetite for problems are so, so great. You can handle it. One reason only. Because of Christ in you. Who made you victorious. I bless you, my friend. In his wonderful name. Amen.